throughout a few of the specials I mentioned already, you may have noted some certain distinguished individuals popping up here and there. You may have been thinking, yeah, their cameos in those specials were good, but what I really want to see is their own Disney Park special. Oh, there could be no other choice for number one but the Muppets at Walt Disney World. The Muppets at Walt Disney World is a special all about how Kermit's grumpy that his friends would rather go to Disney World than hang out at his boring family reunion in the swamp. Ha, ah, I miss control freak Kermit. The late great Charles Grodin, reuniting with his rivals in Great Caperdom, plays security guard Quentin Fitzwaller, a diabolical villain who wants to stop the Muppets from breaking and entering. That bastard! Oh, if my supervisor found out about this, I'd be under the benches scraping you spearmen for the rest of my career. Come on down to Walt Disney World, where we punish our employees for things beyond their control! Finally, some honesty in Disney Park promotion. Okay, let's get some nitpicks out of the way. Yes, this still has some of the problems of a lot of Disney Park promotions, like the disregard for geography these sitcom episodes always seem to have. Come on, Scooter, I'll show you it's a small world! They moved it to MGM Studios for today only! Oh, wait, apparently sneaking into MGM got them to Epcot. Where we want to be is the Chinese theater! Well, you should have stopped there before you went all the way to Magic Kingdom! Come on, Star Tours is over this way! 6.9 miles this way in the park we were in earlier! By the way, this aired only three months after the Disneyland 35th, so... I guess 3PO didn't realize he'd be seeing a lot of Miss Piggy soon. With a team of agents, we can sweep the park and capture the Muppets. One single park, that's all Disney World is. There's also a lot of shots that look blue-screened. Like, there clearly was on-location shooting. I don't doubt that the Muppets actually did go to Walt Disney World, but for every great shot of the Muppets at the resort, there's a lockdown two-shot with Disney World in the deep background where they look really separated from the background. I mean, I don't begrudge them for needing pickups later if that's what happened. It's just... This much visual blandness is the opposite of what I expect from a Jim Henson production. But despite those nitpicks, this special is fantastic. I have made fun of how a lot of the specials on this list seem to inadvertently undercut their own synergy, but not this one. This one undercuts its own synergy 100% on purpose. Holy Toledo, look what we've got here! Ah. Walt Disney's Laundry Land! Lordy, it's a dream come true! Nothing interesting happening up here, Camilla. Let's go back to the laundry! I know they can get away with it because it's Gonzo and he's the weird one, but this special devotes actual screen time to the claim that the backstage laundry facilities are more exciting than the Indiana Jones epic stunt spectacular. Meanwhile, Rolf gets imprisoned in the kennel, so come on to Disney World and send your pets to jail! It's just that I thought my friends would like my old home in the swamp, and they hated it. Kermit spends the whole special moping that his friends don't want to do what he wants to do until a pre-that's so Raven Simone sings his own song to him. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? I don't believe this. And then he's inspired not to just accept that his friends want to have fun and let them do it but to really double down on getting his friends to do what he wants to do. <laughs> Which is, may I add, not be at Disney World. <laughs> this special is all about giving Kermit the reassurance that it's okay to not be at Disney World. I should stop moping around and find my friends and take them back to the swamp for the Frog Festival. That's the spirit! That's what makes this special great. It is far more a Muppet special that happens to be at Disney World than a Disney World special that happens to star the Muppets. Sure, they have to say some nice things about Disney World. Beautiful, it's perfect. Absolutely, I can't think of a thing to complain about. But they do it in a Muppety way. I hate it when there's nothing to complain about. This is terrible. Yeah, why did we come to this miserable place? Boo! This! This! Close this dump down! What do rock musicians want to do more than anything else in the world? I know! I know! I know! <laughs> Besides that... I think if there's a central thesis to this video, it's that Disney Plus needs more Disney Park specials with horny Muppets. Snow White! Hi! Snow White! But in the end, it turns out that Kermit and Mickey are old friends. I didn't know you knew Mickey Mouse. Uh, sure, we're both members sure. of FASA. FASA? Yes, yeah, sir. fictional animal stars of America. Yeah, this is one of the few times that they will actually admit that Mickey's a fictional character. 
So Kermit and the gang learn that they can do both. What everyone else wants to do, and what Kermit wants to do. Kinda. They just do it all, and they all seem to begrudgingly respect each other's choices of enjoyment pastimes. Now, the sinister thing about this special is that it's clearly designed to promote the then-planned buyout of the Jim Henson Company by the Walt Disney Company. Mickey literally says, Welcome to the family, and then the Muppets sing about how they'll keep on performing for you forever! The sad thing about this special is that it aired only ten days before Jim Henson's tragic passing. Jim's death was a loss for the whole world, and the fact that Disney continued to pressure the family regarding the sale soured them on going through with it. So they didn't sell the company to Disney, and in fact they were about to halt production altogether on Muppet Vision 3D, until Frank Oz convinced the family that the world deserved to see the final thing Jim directed. Fourteen years later, the Henson Company sold the Muppet characters to Disney, and Disney has been... sporadic with their use of the IP. But... Now that Disney has finally put The Muppet Show on Disney+, Plus, I think it's time they pay tribute to the beginning of their own relationship with The Muppets, a time when they would give Jim Henson money to do seemingly whatever he wanted. Because like Frank said, the world deserves to see this forever. Also, if they do put this on Disney+, Plus, they should include the requisite Eisner intro, and in the bonus tab, they should include the outtakes from the Eisner intro. Welcome, everyone. I'm in the lobby of the Grand Floridian... Re uh. Okay, who else can we get? <laughs>